Hi, this is Eric at Drobo, and we're talking about the basics of Drobo Beyond Raid. Drobo developed the Beyond Raid technology a few years back to break down the barriers of traditional Raid. While traditional Raid has been good for aggregating hard disk storage to get high capacity and protection over the last few decades, it is very complex. So if you're new to RAID storage or new to a storage array, there's a lot of things you have to learn if you want to use traditional RAID. You have to understand pooling of, of disk drives, you have to understand RAID levels, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 10, RAID 50, RAID 5. There's a lot of options. You have to understand what a hot spare is. And you also have to plan up front for what type of RAID level is, or what type, and type of capacity is good for your specific application. So for example, you may have an application that may want a mirror for high performance. So it'll use these for two, first two drives. And then you may want higher capacity but still protection. So you may do a you know, RAID 5 group here, and, and then another RAID 5 group here. And then if you want high availability when a drive fails, you, know, you may designate um, this last drive as a hot spare. And you know, it's, getting, it's getting very complex, and you have a lot of drives uh, used for overhead protection. And then, and then once you make this decision, it's very rigid. So once you make this decision, if you want to change it, you really have to tear it down and start all over again. With Drobo Beyond RAID, it's very simple. You insert the drives into the Drobo, and then the Drobo takes care of the rest. A Drobo is a single pool of storage, so you don't have to know anything about RAID groups or, or grouping of drives. And it's also very automated. Once you insert the drives, Drobo takes care of the rest. The only decision you have to make is, do you want to protect yourself from a single drive failure or two simultaneous drive failures? So you make that decision. Let's say I want you know, two simultaneous drive failures, so it'll use two drives for parity protection. And then you have, if this is a 12 drive Drobo, you have 10 drives left for capacity. And then if a drive fails or you need to increase capacity, it's as simple as taking out the failed drive, replacing it with a new one. You can replace that drive with a drive from any manufacturer of any capacity, of any type. Or if you want to expand, if you have an extra drive bay open, you simply insert another drive. It's just that easy.